knowledge, time to be deployed. Make our only stand here, make our own complete. All we waited for now, past and future meet. Get your weapons ready, kiss the ones goodbye. Now our time is coming, and it is not the time to cry. Something like that. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Hello, everyone. Good to see everyone. What's up, Sertifi? What's up, Stolpin? What's up, trolling thing, I think? Say Windle Radish? Why am I saying Windle Radish? What's up? Uh, what's going on, Lego? Um, and uh, yeah, and what's up? Your point is moot. What's up? Trolls are trolls are bait. Wow, what is up, dude? Good to see you, man. Um, yeah, I <laughs> I clicked on that link when I, uh, when I sat down, actually, Lego, and um, wow. I guess the hype is real. <laughs> I guess this thing is actually happening. So uh, that's that's pretty cool, man. I I don't I have no sense of how big this thing is. I don't know if it's like, you know, ten thousand people or like sixty thousand people or five hundred people. I don't know. You know, it's weird. Like I I don't have any idea. But um, but anyway, I'm pretty pretty pumped about it. What's up, Thorg? Um, one way or the other. So uh, let me yeah let me get rid of let's see let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. Let's turn on that. There you go, hello everybody. Welcome everyone to uh, the world of the internet. How is everyone doing out there today? I hope everyone's doing well. And yeah, um, so how about that? <laughs> uh, what of course Lego is referring to, if you will click on that link that he's placed above, um, is uh, I, uh, Satobo and I tomorrow are doing a, actually I guess it's later today now on the East Coast, um, are going to be doing a panel at 4 o'clock um, at the Philadelphia Comic Con 
on Icarus. Um, and we are putting together um, a presentation that will have stuff from me um, and stuff from uh, Satobo about the game side of things. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the process of transforming it from novel to graphic novel and then answering questions about the Kickstarter. And we're going to be revealing for the first time ever, the first 10 pages of Icarus um, are going to be revealed. I was thinking about doing it along with a short reading um, of the sort of opening prologue. I may just do a page or two of it because I'm worried. We only have 45 minutes and I'm worried if um, all of a sudden we get like 100 people to show up or something like that and all of them are there to hear about like how to make Kickstarter work. I'm going to be like, uh, <laughs> so we will, uh, we will actually see. No, I haven't heard of Philly.com, but I, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, I, I, it does sound like it's kind of linked into something else. So that's, that's pretty awesome. I mean, I don't see how it could be bad. Um, so I don't have any idea. I don't know whether we're going to have like five people or 50 or 150. I don't have any idea. Um, but funny, you should mention that. No, the mic is not muted. Um, I can see it moving, so I think everyone's going on. What's up, Graydon? Good to see you, man. What's up, Grand Blade? Um, so, uh, funny you should mention that, Stolpen. So, I actually contacted the conference organizers, the convention organizers yesterday, and they informed me that I can, in fact, live stream this panel to Twitch. So, I am going to try to do that. Now, the only problem is that they said that they don't know if the convention center Wi-Fi is going to be good enough to do it. So I'll try. Um, I'm going to have my laptop with me, of course. Um, so Satobo and I are going to make an effort to try to stream it. And it's going to be very simple, guys. It's going to be basically just like webcam, you know, like taking a like webcam of the panel, basically. Um, and so that's the deal with that. I'm terrible. Confirm. What's up, Burner? <laughs> Relentlessly plug our channel. I know, right? Now, I am going to bring it up, though, because, I mean, part of the panel description um, is basically like, in fact, look, I'll read you guys the description. I will read you the description itself. Uh, okay, I'll read you the description and you'll see how you guys come in because your the channel does actually come into it. Uh, let's see. So the panel title is Crowdfunding Creativity from Novel to Comic, Game, and World. Kickstarter has obviously changed the game in terms of getting funding for various creative projects which might otherwise not have gotten off the ground. But it's also made it possible to take an existing work and broaden both its exposure and reach into other mediums. Icarus is a novel and graphic novel with art from professional comics artist Matt Slay to be published by Sounds in the Library Publishing in the fall. In this panel, speculative fiction author Gregory Wilson, writer of Icarus and creator of the world of Vol in which it's set, and game designer Chris Suda discuss how they leverage their their different creative backgrounds and fan bases, including their contacts and their successful channels on the Twitch TV gaming site, that's you guys, into a highly successful Kickstarter for Icarus, and how that success is helping create the foundation for the computer game version of Icarus, which will run its own crowdfunding campaign in early 2015. Wilson and Suda will also discuss the process of developing Icarus into a graphic novel and game, and answer questions about how to use Kickstarter and other resources to develop any given creative idea into a reality. So, what I'm thinking about... Swim wore you out today. Bots on, I'm off. Have fun. Okay, Law. Sounds good, man. Get some sleep. Thanks for stopping by, dude. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, exactly, Bernard. So, hello, everyone. Twitch.tv slash Arvin And yesterday, Twitch.tv Arvin And during the Kickstarter project, Twitch.tv slash Arvin Oh, my God. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I appreciate it, Law. Um, so, yeah. And what the, here's the interesting thing. Now, I did not know this, actually, until, um, until Satobo pointed it out to me. But we are unopposed. We are the actually the first panel of programming at Philadelphia Comic Con starting at 4.30, and we're unopposed. The next person to show up is actually at 5 o'clock. The panel is 45 minutes. So from 4.30 to 5, it's just us. Which is, I was like, oh, okay. Because almost every convention I've ever been to, you've got different tracks. You know what I mean? Like, it's your panel, and then there's like two other panels that you're up against, usually at one time or another. This is all in one place. So I'm kind of like, okay. Okay, so that's going to be cool. What's up, Splatter? Good to see you, man. <laughs> I like it, dude. Um, Arvbot does not serve drinks. We're working on it, though. Law, Law is working on it. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I don't have any read on this. I mean, I guess the room could be packed. Um, I think the largest panel that I've ever been in was a panel in front of about 250 people at Worldcon, but that's because the other people on the panel were Tim Powers, Joe Walton, Pat Rothfuss, Lee Modisett, and me. Um, which is a lot of people plus me. So that was why that room was packed. Um, but I have no idea on this one. So we'll see. Um, I, I 
would love it to be definitely packed. But anyway, I was going to do a reading as part of this, like a little reading, basically tying it up with the pictures that I have. But I'm thinking now I may just do a page or two so that we have more time to be able to deal with the Kickstarter part of it. Because I'm a little worried that everyone's going to be like, tell us how to do Kickstarters. Why aren't you telling us Kickstarters? They're going to be like, let me tell you about Icarus. They're like, we don't care about Icarus. What about Kickstarter? So, you know, we'll see if that actually happens. But um, yeah, so it'll be pretty awesome if it works out. I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about the possibilities but i'm gonna do what i can um to uh mention the twitch channel of course you guys will be coming up prominently and satobo will no doubt do the same thing with his um and on top of it um i am going to be hopefully live streaming it to my twitch channel now again I can only sort of promise that um, because it depends on whether the convention Wi-Fi is good enough and it may not be. If it's not, it's not and there's nothing we could do about it, but we'll try. Um, and at least I got the legal permission to do it um, because they said, sure, that's fine. We don't mind, you know, you restreaming it. And Twitch isn't going to mind because the is going to be talking about the game. So for a 45 minute live stream, I don't think that'll be an issue. So anyway. That is the deal. That's what's going on with that. What's up, Akadrian? So, um, yeah, so I'm very excited about that. A little, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not nervous. I'm just sort of anticipatory. You know, I can't wait to see how many people we get. Um, it would be pretty awesome if we got a ton of people. But anyway, if any of you folks are in the Philadelphia area, we would love, of course, to see any or all of you right there. Uh, and that'll be cool for that. I've also gotten my schedule for ReaderCon, which is in Boston. That's next month. Um, and so if any of you are in the Boston area, um, well, I'll talk to you a little bit about that. But that's going to be down the line. As far as the stream is concerned, um, I wanted to get on tonight just because I wanted to make sure that people were aware that Philly Comic Con is going on tomorrow. Um, I am going to be streaming the end of the Samaritan Paradox tonight. And then starting um, probably tomorrow evening, but if not, then definitely on Friday, I will be moving on to Assassin's Creed 3. And we'll be playing Assassin's Creed 3 up until the release of Divinity Original Sin. Then I will be alternating between those things, Assassin's Creed 3 and Divinity Original Sin, um, basically. Um, I might be playing that through with Series Runner, actually, is the plan. Series Runner started streaming again today, which was awesome. Uh, and Optic came back last night, so all the, the band is getting back together, which is cool. So uh, Series and I may be co-oping uh, that run of Divinity Original Sin. And we'll see. But in any case, I'll be alternating um, that and Assassin's Creed 3. And of course, we'll have some D&D, &D, uh, you know, shenanigans thrown in there as well um, over the next few months. And once I'm done with Assassin's Creed 3, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm definitely going to do the next Fighting Fantasy game book after that, which will be Caverns of the Snow Witch. And then after that, I don't know. Um, you know, I'm going to kind of see. I could do The Witcher. I could do one of the Final Fantasy tactics. I've never actually played Final Fantasy 6. So I might give that a shot um, because so many people talk about how awesome it is. So I may do that. So we'll see. Um, lots of possibilities. But anyway, what's up, Georgie? Welcome back, Georgie. So that's what's going on with that. But tonight we're finishing up the Samaritan Paradox. This is not going to be a late cast, so people know. Um, I'm just going to be wrapping this up and then uh, because I obviously have to get some sleep because tomorrow... Big session. Um, and then probably tomorrow evening, I'm not going to be staying in Philadelphia. I'm going to be, um, after the thing's over, I'm going to be walking around the convention hall and whatever. I'm going to, you know, uh, hang out with Satobo. This is the first time I'm meeting him face to face. So I'm going to be meeting him with him. And uh, we're going to be chatting about a whole bunch of different stuff. And then um, he's going to head home and I'm probably going to head home at that point. Um, so I'm hoping to be able to stream sometime tomorrow evening because I do an evening cast anyway. So that's the hope. Um, but it might be a little bit later than normal. And there is a possibility it won't happen because if I have like, you know, if, if like goes awesome and all of a sudden like people are like, hey, let's do a feature film on Icarus tomorrow or something, then obviously I got to let I got to play that by year. Um, but uh, if for some reason I'm not here Thursday night, for sure, I will be here on Friday. You can take that to the bank. So that is the deal with that. Oh, nice. Nice to TV. That's what I like to hear. Cool. Um, you're going to be in your summer cottage all weekend missing AC3. Oh, it's all right, man. It's going to be, uh, believe me, I'm going to be playing it longer than two days for sure. What's up, Brandon Man 2014? Good to see you, man. And hello, EXE. What's up, dude? All right. So let us get on to the Samaritan Paradox, shall we? Let us see what we can do about finishing this and uh, moving on. All righty. Let's also see whether I can get... Uh... My goodness, it worked. History. How about we meet for the first time doing a panel? Sure. <laughs> that is exactly what it was. That's pretty much, you got it exactly right. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad it is. It has not always been so, Brandon. All right, let's get... Uh... Huzzah. Oh, yeah. Let's do it up. 
The law is dead. Okay. Alrighty. So how's everyone doing out there? Everyone having a good time today? Has anyone watched any World Cup? Actually, I was doing some work um, this morning. Uh, I got to catch some of the uh, Australia and uh, Netherlands game. And uh, the Netherlands was in trouble for part of that game. Um, the Netherlands did not play as well as they could have, for sure. Um, but uh, then they kind of put it together and it was fine. But there was a while there. It was a little bit problematic. Hi. Ord. Ord. These things don't interest me that much. Oh, that's right. I talked to her about this. I try okay. my best. Try your best to help. Theme Park Studio? I have not heard of it. What's up, Jedi? You've been playing your Wii U. That's cool. Yeah, man. Nintendo's trying to get their mojo back. A lot of people I've been I've been hearing talking about uh, about it have been pretty happy with them. All right. You go talk to this dude. Sup, shop owner. Hello there. <laughs> oh, hello. You don't think you should discuss it with him. Why not? I haven't heard any rumors to that effect. As far as I know, he drowned himself during an early boat trip. He really liked those trips. Did you know he bought the boat from me? Only the best was good enough for that man. I can't say I knew that, no. That fateful morning. Was it three months ago? Yeah, he, he, he just downed a bottle of whiskey and threw himself overboard. Oh yeah, I'm I sure he did. Just like Fredo did in Godfather, right? Not far from my boathouse. The police have examined it and released it, so to speak. Huh. But no one will bring it. So I guess the family isn't interested in boats. I plan to make it a tourist attraction. Uh, you know, celebrities and deaths. Oh, that's Did great. Did you know they even consulted me when yeah, they you're, died you're a hero, dude. body? Yeah. Does anyone dispute that it was a suicide? No. He left a note which the police confirmed was legitimate. Uh, nobody doubts he killed himself. He even wrote a book titled My Last Secret uh, just before. It's like a big PR stunt. Pretty clever if you ask me. The book has sold really well. I have it in my store if you're interested. I have a copy. Thanks. Right, Brandon. Can I go see that boat? I'm his son-in-law. Kind of. I could let Sarah Bergwall know if it's worth keeping or not. Okay, cool. Uh. Sure, I Sounds good, man. Uh, just let me know when you're ready to go there. Nice. My pleasure, mate. So let's go to your boathouse, dude. Oh, hello. Can Kelsey we go see boat. Bergwall's boat? Sure, I just have to finish this crossword. The deadline is today, and they empty the mailbox in an hour. The first prize is a brand new outboard engine by Pelican. I see. Hey, hey, hey Xanos, what's up, man? Hurry, you All right, sounds good, Night Law. What's uh, up, Snip? Sure, I can give you a hand. It's a very big crossword. I have to finish a crossword for this guy so he can take me to the boathouse, really. Ooh, Reese's Peanut Butter Oreos, nice. Jesus, you've only solved two words? <laughs> I told you it was difficult. Very well. I'll get back to you when I've solved it. What? I have to finish... It's a huge literature-themed crossword and the shop owner has only solved two words on his own. For most people, this would take a day to solve. Let's take a look. Fifteen minutes later... All right, I've solved everything Just but one, one word. word left. Well, that was very quick. These kinds of puzzles are my forte. Really? Fort, not forte. Jonathan Bergwall, detective. Uh. All right, wait. Don't you have this book Hello somewhere? <laughs> Of 
Darn it, really? How about the secret book? Man. My pleasure. Do I have to really go somewhere so I can figure out what this detective guy is? Hey, hey, what's up, Lakota? Good to see you, man. Hey, Earth, what's up, man? Uh, donate. Well, <laughs> I don't per se have a donation set up yet, Brandon. Um, although one of the hopes is that at some point, if a partnership happens, um, then obviously you'd be able to do it through that. Um, but the way that I do it, um, what people can do if they want, just because this is something that's happened before, is people can feel free to, uh, pick up one of my books. I'm an author, um, which is what I'm talking about at the Philly Comic Con thing that I was talking about at the beginning tomorrow. So if you're interested, you can always do that, um, through PayPal, and I'm happy to, if you send me a PM through Twitch, I can tell you about how to do that. Um, if you're interested in reading, uh, one of my books, I read fantasy. So if you're interested in doing that, that's cool, or not. But if, since you asked, that's the way it could work. Yeah, I don't have a donate box yet um, uh, of any kind like that, but... Okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. I have to... Late Bergwall P.I. I don't remember. Oh, thank you, Occasion. So sweet of you. Alright, so I've actually got to go find, like, a... Really? i got to go find this dude's, like... Problem is, I don't remember where... Do I have it in my inventory, maybe? Maybe I can find it like home or something like that. Yeah, that's another option as well, Xanos. Yeah. Send a PM and get put into other box. <sighs> I don't know if I have one of his books or not. Maybe it'll say it in the newspaper. Mm, last secret. Yes, you do need to consult your freaking library now. Damn it. Okay. Maybe it'll be in the Bergman state. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Durbin? No, this is me uh, wrapping this up, man. Um, this is me finishing it up. Um, pretty soon, I assume. Wait a second, wait a second. No. Library? Really? Where is your book that you said was amazing? Actually, I can, while I'm here, I guess I can do this cassette tape. Sarah, if you found this tape, you've come far in your quest. You've been in the bunker. Thanks, that Snip. I appreciate that, man. When she was still an employed researcher of the state. It's oh, so do I, Bernard. That'd be awesome, man. All the bunkers are sealed and that the network is still intact. She told me how to open this particular bunker, and I added the sundial to turn it into a nice puzzle for you. This particular bunker is not in use anymore, but it's connected to others that are. You can gather evidence of the foul play that is being played. There's a certain person you must stop. He has a terrible mission. Soon all your questions will be answered. Stay strong. Hmm. 
Funny, I feel like I just give more questions. That's certainly true. Um, gonna have my own section in Barnes and Noble. And Burner, keep in mind, by the way, Burner, that the hope is that it'll be there. It, it might just be aware that might slip a little bit. <laughs> it might slip back to like September ishy. Hey, what's up, Memo? Um, I would no, I would not. <laughs> I happen to uh, have seen a little bit of Sanitarium, and no, it is the kind of psychological thrill, like, scary game that I do not like at all. So, no, I would not play it. Though I would, I appreciate the thought, but no, would not play it. Bad rats. Yeah, that definitely will happen, Burner. Um, I would guess it would be July. It could be, like, early August, though. It's possible. As I say, it's conceivable that the book could slip a little bit. Um, not a lot. I mean, it's not going to be months and months, obviously, but a little bit. So, yeah, 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 for sure. Wonder if I can maybe call her. Maybe I can call what's her face. All right, I'm going to talk to Sarah and see if she knows. Let's call Sarah. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars. Do I have a favorite movie of all time? Uh, probably. Your point is moot. I probably would say I, I make them two different ones. I think my favorite movie of all time is probably um, Fellowship of the Ring. But I think the best movie that I've ever seen is The Shawshank Redemption. I think Shawshank Redemption was unbelievably good. It just brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Really, really good. Um, but I think probably my favorite movie of all time is Fellowship. <laughs> Memo. Oh, sounds good. Have fun, Sertifi, man. Enjoy, enjoy the time with your parents. It's important, too. That's true. That's definitely happening. That's definitely true, Lego. What? What do you mean, no reply? Can I call Magnus and ask him about what the name of the Magnus here? Hey, Lord my. Let's I'm see. reading a really strange fairy tale. Hmm. Okay, by that Bergwald. Yeah, do you know what his name is? So it's like ordinary fiction. Thank well, you. Your point. Ordinary, ordinary. It reads like a fairy tale, but I'm only reading it to find clues for Sarah. Seems like you have your hands full then. Yeah, pretty much. How are you and Anika? Ah, uh, same old, working. But Nika's growing really large. She's... what? Oh, right, she's expecting. We're expecting. Of course. Uh, thought of any names? I don't think I've asked you that. Oh, we've got a few. Names are really important. They are. By the way, have you spoken anything to Johanna? No, why would I? Maybe she... Maybe it's time you talked? Talked things through? Magnus. I know you and Anika love Joanna, and that it'd be very convenient for you if we got back together. But there is no chance in hell that's gonna happen. I've put the idea of the two of us being together behind me. But there is no chance in hell that's gonna happen. <laughs> I've put the idea of... Wow, he's really... He's so convinced of that, he said it twice. <laughs> All right, okay. That's Sarah. Is she a nice girl? A, a nice girl? She's my client. A good-looking client? Magnus, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget our Friday date. Don't forget our Friday date. I won't. What? Wow. They're like, they're like <laughs> very, very important to repeat things numerous times. Uh, I'm not a big Quentin Tarantino guy. Um, I mean, I, I think he's a good, I think he's a solid filmmaker, but it's just, it's most of the stuff is not really my interest. Um, I don't particularly care for Pulp Fiction. I mean, I think it's, it's got like cool cultural references and stuff, but I just, eh, not, did not really grab me. Um, and I did see it actually, I think I saw it in the theaters, um, but didn't really grab me. Um, actually my, my favorite, um, uh, my favorite, uh, what do you call it? Um, Quentin Tarantino thing is his position in, um, is his role that he plays in Desperado. <laughs> that was like my favorite part of anything that Tarantino ever did. Yeah, wasn't that weird, though? Night of the Living Dead, Brazil. 
Man, you have dark taste, Earth Machine. Brazil's a good movie. It's too depressing, man. Too depressing. What is the name of... So I have to really... I have to go find this thing and be like, hey... What? Man. Okay. Not four rooms. Wait, 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 wait. That was a bad idea. No, no, no. Care if you're already wearing a jacket, you fool. All right. Does he really snip? Yeah. That doesn't surprise me, actually. All right, Jorgen. Hey, yep. Yeah, I heard that's how he killed himself. Poor bastard. Right, I know. That's not important. Good gravy, my boy. This is some serious stuff. I have these documents. Good gravy, my boy. Operation, and I've seen the weapons in the cargo room of the Weinver and in the secret tunnels under Fardo. You want me to take this from here? I could make just the right calls. This means the end of the dirty arms deals, and it won't stop at Wyvern Exports. They're going to drag Fosorb with them. It'll be the scoop of the year. You can have it. I'm not a journalist. I trust you can make most of the situation. I'm just wondering what's in this for you, or Sarah. That's what I need to find out now. But just do your thing in the meantime. You betcha. No worries, buddy. Hey. Yep. No worries, buddy. Okay, did I give him the secret documents? All right. Uh, I want to know about this almost self crossword. I guess I'll try the activist. I don't really know where else to go at this point, but I'm going to try the activist first. Ah, thank you for the follow, George Ledoux. Thanks for the follow, George. I appreciate it, sir. Welcome to the Arvanauts. Uh, Hi there. Hi. Oh, I have something we could discuss. What we can discuss is entering the bunker. It's not relevant to the case. Jonathan's boat. What? Yes, it is. All right. I'm not really interested in that, Ord. I'm investigating Jonathan's death, and I've ruled out Wyvern already. Weapons manufacturer. Are they in I think I did that. I haven't found any links between Jonathan and Fozorb. I haven't heard of anyone from Fozorb operating on the island. I see. Do you know about the character that died in the freaking book? I need to answer that question. You around, Ord. Can you saw this crossword? Ugh. Man. All right, well, I hope that Sarah, I really, really hope that Sarah, his daughter, knows what the heck it is, because I don't, can't seem to answer that question. Hey, what's up, Duranker? Yeah, man, it's been a long time. What's up, bro? How you been? Hi. Ask you about entering the so bunker. Still being used. Well, that's something. I have nothing to add, though. I don't know why Father would want me down there. I'm happy that you're doing this for me, Ord. How about Jonathan's boat? Ugh. These things. These things. Yeah, 
I, do you think that's possible but what I have no I already answered these questions darn it I try my best to yeah you try your best to help and you fail I have no idea where to find this information. There's a bed right there. She's the, uh... You can tell that she's cute through the 8-bit graphics. Really, Zenith? Your spidey sense is tingling, as it were. I can't travel back to the bunker. That's where I went. I guess I could travel here. Hey, lady, do you know? Hi there. Hello. I heard he was out rowing when he took his life. Yes. You're welcome, hon. All right, here. Can you solve this? What? Man. Maybe the book is up here. No. <laughs> oh, nice, Derek. That's awesome, man. Good to hear, dude. Hey, what's up, Kilobyte? Good to see you, man. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. I gotta figure out who knows this... this Because I gotta solve this crossword for this idiot. So I can go and he can show me the boat. But the thing is, I need... I need the name of the vi of the PI who died in Hello. Jonathan Bergman's book. Yes. My. Hello there. <laughs> oh, I should go, please. Shoot. How do I... Late Bergwall P.I. How do I have any idea who that is? Oh my god. Yeah, I saw a kill. I saw. I don't. I don't think I want to do that right now. I'm. I am going to get them at some point in the future. But I got a couple games that are sort of lined up. I am going to do it at some point, though. I promise. So, I haven't forgotten. Late Bergwall PI. I need. I have no idea where the heck. Like, I don't know even who has this book. It's not in this cabin. Flyer. It's chapter two. I'm going to look it up on Google. Yeah, I know, rest player. Oh, man. Um... I have no idea who this XPI... They have Google in this game. I don't even know where to go, like, to find this information. And the problem is, this is a Swedish game, so it's not going to help. I can't come up with, like, like, like a typical American name. That's true, they did, Snip. You meant in the game? 
I see what you're saying. Yeah, I... Ugh. I don't even know where to go. Because I think he said the person who has the book is this guy, and he doesn't... He isn't showing it to me, like... Because he's like, oh, I know where the book is. I'm like, right. Can you tell me what the hell the book is? Because I don't there. know. I should go. Oh, no. Hello? <laughs> I plan to. Did you know? Does it? No. He left a note with. Pretty clever, if you ask me. I have a yeah. copy. Thanks. Can I go see that boat? I'm his son in law. Sure, I have I a copy? You have a copy? Where do you have a My copy? Pleasure, you have a copy. Where is this copy? Man, is it back home? Like, maybe I missed it the first time. What's up, Wyvil? Yes, I am, Snip. Indeed, I am. Uh, at 4 o'clock. And apparently, Lego found me an article that it's actually been written up in the paper, too, that, that uh, Satobo and I are going to be there, which is cool and a little bit unexpected. All right, I'm traveling to his home. He says he has a copy. Where is this copy? You don't need to do anything with books. There's nothing in the newspaper. Oh. What? Any sense? Where is this alleged copy? I have a copy. No, you don't have a copy. I know, I know, right, Wevel? I know. Hey, Demiser, what's up, man? Shadowed, what's up, Shadow Mage? Hello, Demiser, hello, Shadow Mage, how you guys doing? I don't know what to do here. He says he has a copy. Damned if I know what it is. Six letter, seven letter word, seven letter name for a for a late Bergwall PI. I have no idea where to find this. Bilana? The answer is Bilana, huh? Man. Candide.
Bah. Even Kappa, even Kappa fails in this situation. Yeah, I don't drink, Brandon. Root beer, man. Root beer would be my favorite. That is inaccurate. I do, in fact, drink water. I do drink water all the time. But I, uh, I have no idea. His personal desk. Can I look in his personal desk? No. Damn, man. I know. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I... I don't even... I don't know that it's got four holes drilled in the top. I mean, she doesn't have an answer to the question. Can't go in the basement. You, answer my question about where the hell this thing is. Hey, yep. I ask you about... Yeah, yeah. No worries, buddy. Solve this puzzle. Ugh. Hey, what's up, monkey? Happy uh, birthday. Happy uh, 20th birthday, then, recently. Happy birthday, monkey. I have no idea what I'm doing at this point. Oh, Burgle novel. Do you think I could take a quick look at your... Sorry to just... What? No! Do you... Sorry... Oh, oh, oh. show me the buck! Sorry... My back is rapidly dying. Coins here between the cushions. Ah! That allows me to go to the jukebox. What the hell? I have coins now. D D Sorry. Wait, can I use... Hey, take this coin. Immediately snatches the coins like an addict grabbing his stimulant. The music starts reading Get Storms Out of the Pub's Concentration Road. Is the book there? Yes! Great success! Vickland! That's his name. Vickland! Aw, oh, yeah! Get down! Oh, yeah! Thanks, Rocker! I did not even think that was gonna be the case. This was like, I had no other idea where to go. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you one thing, it was something I was never gonna guess just normally. <laughs> yeah, b banana was very good. Whatever it was, vanilla was very close to Vicland. You were like right there, dude. Alright. 
I had to go all the way back to the mainland so I could go find a copy of the book. And I love how he's like, you know, oh, I have a copy right here. I'm like, no, I have a copy. You don't have a copy, or you could have actually freaking found out what happened before. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Freeze. It froze. Oh, no. Damn it. Ah, <sighs> froze, and I didn't save it, of course. All right, let's take two seconds, though. That's annoying. Iron Square, Glens. Sofa. Coins. Use coins on the rocker. Hey. Okay. Book. Alright, that's Fickland. Alright. So I didn't even go and take care of the uh, secret documents. I'll do that now. Alright. Of course, it's not, but no, but hey, it's better. Right, I already know that one. I listen, uh huh. I trip. Well, you can, then it, please, both so, so it's I have used to have anyone, aren't you? I don't, but if you, thanks, you'll be. No worries, buddy. Oh, god damn it. How did I do this before? Hey, yep. I thought. Yeah. Great. I have All right, there we go. It'll, I'm just. That's you bet. No okay. worries, but now that should have gotten rid of those documents. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now. There we go. Now I can go back to the place. All right. Now back to Fardo Port. Is there a new epic rap battle of history? I haven't seen it. All right, guy. I solved your crossword puzzle, bro. I've actually seen Weird Al in concert. It was pretty funny. A few years ago, back on, it was out on Long Island. Hello there. Oh. I ask you about my. All right, I fixed your stupid thing. Here you go. All solved. Let's hope you win that outboard motor now. Fantastic! Great job! I bet running back to the island, I had to go do that. Hello there. <laughs> Can we go see Bergwall's boat now? Sure! I'll sort some papers in the office while I'm here. Uh, give me a shout if you need anything. Yeah, I know, right? Great, it's gonna be fun, man. Wooden one closest to the entrance. Just take your time. Thanks. By the way, I also arrange fishing trips if you're interested. Does it really? Awesome. Like Weird Al, like the actual Weird Al? It's a note from the boathouse. Alright, what do we got here? The paint. Jonathan's boat. Let's look at it. See, the police have missed something. Considering this is a suicide case, they probably haven't been too meticulous in their examination. The last word was Vickland Kilobyte. I found it by going back to uh, Glenn's, because there's one of the guys reading the book there. What might this be? Scratches. That won't help me interpret the scratches better.
Oh, coin. It's a rubbing. What? faintest idea what's supposed to help this I know exactly exactly kill I was like this is this is not work this would not work for me either why I don't even I put the paper on top of it, and... What the hell am I supposed to do with that? Ugh. Wait, can I... Oh, stick! Alright. So will the stick work? Ah, what? Alright, so let's turn on the burner. Now you stick on the burner. Now it's charred. Ow. Alright, now we use that. the burn stick on the scratches by rubbing the charcoal against the papers the engravings appear and I have an achievement scratching the surface created a carbon copy of the scratches found on Jonathan's boat what is that max sauce curious <laughs> Who the heck is Mac or max I mean I'm ready to leave. All right, I'm done too. Let's go. If you're looking for a newer boat, I can give you a special price. Thank you. I'll consider it. Okay, Max Sauce. Now I have to figure out who the heck Max is. Max Sauce. All right, Sarah. Who the hell's Max? Hi. Hi. I try my. Who is Max? Max Kappa. Yeah. Who the heck is Max? It's possible that somebody... You think so? Alright, sounds good, Earth. Thanks for stopping by, man. Good night. Maybe I have to chat with this guy first. I doubt it, but... No problem, Earth. Thanks for stopping by, man. There we go. Max? I think Anita has a neighbor called Maximilian. You should ask her. Anita, uh, that's the lady serving coffee yes. in the church. Yes, progress. Oh, okay. Thank you. Progress. Bye. There we go. Anita. All right, Anita.
All right, Anita. Tell me about Maximilian. Hi there. Hello. Do you know someone called Max? Well, there's a certain Maximilian renting the house next to mine. Why? Hmm. Uh, what can you tell me about? Is he a mass murderer? He's a retired photographer. Oh. He comes here once in a while. Oh, he took a picture. The archipelago. I think he's left the island for the season, though. Any idea where I can find him? I happen to know that he's showing some of his pictures at a posh restaurant down by the Red Rock. It's impressive that someone so old, hardly any eyesight left, can still take such good photographs. He basically knows where to aim the camera without even seeing what's there, and the photos turn out wonderful. All right. That's impressive. You might be able to catch him there, or at least admire his works. I'll bet he took Thanks some pictures, and I'll see yeah, it in the background. Darling. This is like, uh, this is like Enemy of the State. You're welcome, huh? This is totally like Enemy of the State, if you guys ever saw that movie, which is a solid movie, because it has Gene Hackman. Yeah. Darn it. There we go. Red Rock. Red Rock? What, what? I'll read one of the messages. Nuclear power, no thanks. Aha. Photo. They're signed by a certain Maximilian Shortland. Can't see anything special with this one, though. It's a boat in the distance here, but I can't make out the faces. I'm, I'm getting this reminder of the Blues Brothers. The women. How much for the women? Wow, nice wife all. Hello there. Hello. Let's see, do you have a magnifying glass? Do you have a magnifying glass I could borrow? No, I certainly don't. And if you don't belong to the wedding company, I suggest you come back another night. Wow, right. the brush off. Thank you. Do you know the photographer? I believe they're rented from a local picture agency. I heard the photographer is nearly blind. He just points his camera and shoots. Fascinating. Uh, table for one, please. Are you a wedding guest? Uh, no, I'm not. Then we can't offer you a table tonight. The restaurant is fully booked. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, so I need a magnifying glass. Hello there. Hello. Do you no. And if all right. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't know why I needed to. What was that all about? Hello there. Hello. No. And if... All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. What is the point of that? Oh, if I could get my hand on a prism, I could do the magnifying thing. Oh, nice, Snip. Yeah, so am I, dude. I'm a Red Sox fan as well. 25 years. So I need... Okay, okay. I make this Hello work. There. Hello. Goodbye. Goodbye. There's got to be a way I can make this work. Um.
<laughs> exactly. Hello there. Hello. So I, I don't because I need one of those prisms so I can see the faces here, but I don't know what the hell this is all about. What? I don't. I'm not. I don't understand. I don't know what I'm missing here. Like something here is. A burned stick. What's up, Henrius? Remove the radiator and hit from behind it. Use the letter knife on him, yeah. I get the prism. I don't understand. What does the window have to do with the chandelier? No, monkey. We're guessing it's going to be next week, though. We were thinking maybe Friday, but Foom is uh, not feeling well. So he's been, uh, he and Pickles got really sick. So I guess he's going to be out of commission for a couple of days. And then he's got Big Richie's um, block party thing, even if he is recovered enough on Friday. So we're looking at probably next week is the guess. What? I don't understand. How do I get, I need to get the prism so I can see the photo. And somehow I turned on the radiator so he has to keep opening the window. But I don't know what good that does me. I don't know what good it does to have like the window there. I don't get that. Do it from behind, do a stealth take down. Just drop the chandelier on him, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I... Maybe the window will help reflect it onto the picture somehow. What? You can't push him out the window. Hit him with the mini tree. Unfortunately, the mini tree is not selectable. Interesting. Maybe. That's a good thought, Shadow. Damn, Shadowed. I Shadowed. How are you this good at this stuff, man? I consider myself pretty solid at the at the uh, puzzle adventure games, but jeez. That would not even have occurred to me. The pressure changes. I was just looking for more objects. Well done. Unless you're not, you're not Googling this, are you? That's pretty impressive. The lens works to magnifying glass. That's Jonathan sitting in the boat. With him is Veronica, the private nurse. She was in the boat with Jonathan the day he died. Plot twist. It's Veronica. Wow. All right, Veronica. It's time we have a discussion. You were with Jonathan the day he died, or were you? Well, we're going to find out exactly what that means. Time to explain. I know, right, Henrius? <laughs> That's a pretty weak-ass chandelier. All right, Veronica. Uh-oh. Where the hell is Veronica?
So now I gotta find Veronica is the problem. Night, monkey. Yeah, low quality lighting fixture is right. She's in Fred Scrooby. No, wasn't it uh, Daphne and Velma? Weren't those the, those the two in Scooby Doo? How about the closet? Yeah. Oh, uh, congratulations to Kershaw with the no hitter. That's awesome. The guy's that guy's legit. He's a really really good good player. So, really legit. Yeah, no, I know. And shadowed. I was kidding, man. I was really basically kidding. I was just like really impressed at how you were able to just you know carve through this stuff. All right, I need to find Veronica. Get her to answer. So where the heck? Where am I gonna find Veronica? I guess I can go back to Iron Square and talk to the person who's investigating Jonathan's murder and let him know. Yeah, what's up, Cherubi? Welcome in. This is just a couple months old. Hi there. Hi. So Veronica was in the boat with Jonathan. Obviously, this makes I do watch football, absolutely. In my eyes. I wonder what her motive was. I'll have to investigate this thoroughly. Since you helped me with the case, I guess I owe you this piece of information. He has an overnight flat downtown. Nice. Let me check the address. East Harbor Street, 14. Flat number 71. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I'll contact you when I've made any progress with the case. Glad I could help. Veronica's really in trouble. See you around, Ord. Progress time. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's what it's all about. Now I go down to his flat and I investigate that. I do watch some soccer, um, but I also watch uh, American football. My favorite team is the Steelers. Patrick's flat. Oh, yeah. And the door is locked, but I have a house key. Must have been... If this is the key to Patrick's flat, then it must have been Patrick on board the Wyvern. Temporary flat is fancy, but very desolate. Okay. Travel Guide to the Arabian Peninsula and some crime stories. Trench coat. Drawers. Only one thing in this drawer. A bundle of documents titled Chapter 3. Oh. oh. Well, oh, well. Seems it was a wise decision stopping the ship and checking uh -oh. back here. I'm sorry, but I'm not in a position where I can let a burglar get away. It's nothing personal. Damn, I was really curious to walk right to the flat like this. See them and walk slowly to the soap. Whoa! Stun gun. He's probably out for a little while. Yeah. Take what you need. We need to bail. I'm pretty sure he's not alone. I, I think you just saved my life. We can get emotional and shit later. Now, <laughs> chop chop. I'll keep a guard outside. Hurry up with whatever you need to do here. Nice. Book collector level three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I need to read chapter three. Nice. All right. 
Chapter 3, let's do it. Oh, I have to go home? Alright. I have to go back to my place to do it. This reminds me a little bit of Shadowrun Returns music. Alright, I think we're good. You go ahead and scram. If Patrick has company, they'll wait downstairs. We shouldn't be seen together. He never saw me. I can pretend I just came to visit him. Are you sure? You're gonna win every game just seventy to sixty-five then, Weibel? Patrick has seen you now, but just he checking. probably has no idea who you are. If he wakes up, I can stall him for some time, but you need to get the hell out of here. All right. He's like, all right. Wait, what's this? Oh, cool. Thank you, Earth Machine. Earth Machine just sent me a copy of a game called Gunpoint Special Edition, which it says is a stealth puzzle game that lets you rewire its levels to trick people. You pray a eh, play. Play a freelance spy who takes jobs from his clients to break into high security buildings and steal sensitive data. This sounds kind of cool. It's not going to keep you from playing AC3 because I promised I would do that next, but perhaps at a later date I will do that. Thank you. Hey, I'm doing this as quickly as I can. Leave the building with Kazina Sankana, head to the train station. Thank you very much, Earth. Alright, let's head back to my house. Here's where I'm going to read what I need to read. All right, the next clue. Oh, cool, Graydon. That's awesome. Meanwhile, Freya pushed the door gently. It was met by the sheen of the setting sun. Aha. She's got to stop them somehow. Yeah, thanks a lot, Earth. I appreciate it, man. Uh... So I escaped in the nick of time. I am... Wait, I saw a spyglass. Nice. Spyglass on. The heck am I using the spyglass on? I'm going to use the spyglass on something awesome. Uh, on the horizon. The dragon! Plot twist. The dragon is real. By the gods, she taught, thought, that Samita's daughter scanning the ocean surely seeking to avenge her mother. She doubted Fenrir and Mimir had seen the dragonling. They would hardly dare proceed to the ritual if they had. Okay, but knowing that, how does that help me? What's up, gentlemen? Good to see you, man. She couldn't tear it off with her bare hands. She could use a dagger, though. So 
Smoke signals? She's gonna bring in the dragon. Bring up the dragon. Yeah! Smoke signal! Oh, check out that water. That water effect, though. Come, dragonling. Time to come in. And meet the fate. Here comes the dragonling. Oh, yeah. Hey, you there. What? Fenrir, who is that? That's not my disciple. She, she's a Vindar spy. No, I'm not. As if I had not heard that before. That matters little at this point. We are moments away from summoning the mighty war demon. Perhaps our new friend wants to watch. It would be quite a spectacle. Night, Raiden. Actually, I have come to prevent you from performing for Me and my little this friend. This annoys me. Child, step back and do not bother us more. You stole my golden horn and threw me in a dungeon to perish. And now you want Get ready to for a chat. Get ready for say hello to my little friend. <laughs> you mean this horn? This horn belongs to me. Behold its beauty. Dragonling, get him. He stole your mother's treasure and slew her. Get him. Oh, snap. By the great snake, what? Who are you? I am I your father. Am Freya, I mean, commander of the dragon. Hell yeah, I am. I have come to stop the war. Hell yes, Freya, I have. Oh, Freya. The people of Angsmark have suffered enough under your despotism. I banish you from this land. Go and spread your false doctrines elsewhere. If you ever set your foot here again, you will end up on the dragons as men just like Fenrir. I will obey. Thank you for sparing my life. Aw, yeah. Random drag is random. I, that's actually the the original, um, the mother's uh, the daughter there. Town is already different. It's like a spell has been lifted. Well, that's what I'm all about. We will open the borders and start trading with other people again. And we will never sacrifice our young to hunt the stupid horn. You will be a legend here, Freya. Try to rest some more. Thank I will you. take care of things. Nice work, yes, Mods. maybe I should rest some now. Then I should... Relax, Freya. You can stay here. This can be your home. He drew her to him, and after a long embrace, she realized what she'd been wanting all the time. Him. She sighed in delight as his hands started to slowly caress her. Oh my. And then he said to himself, Ladies and gentlemen, Colt 45 works every time. Oh yeah. The time's come to take the next step in our relationship. Baby, what you want with me? Oh baby. <laughs> Oh, that 8-bit adult rating. Young, perfect skin. She's sad with... What the hell? All this time I pictured Targov as a younger Jonathan. Freya as a younger Sarah. So, this... This is... I can't possibly read any more of this. I had a feeling Jonathan had some issues, but never in my life did I expect this. What's up, Paradox? Oh my god, Jonathan was interested in his own daughter? This is absolutely... Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh gosh. So, Sarah, um, we need to chat. The plot unexpectedly veers into a su suggestively incestuous affair, and I refuse to read anymore. This may explain Sarah's subconscious reluctance to read it. That's really creepy. So, um, I guess I need to talk to Sarah about this. Um... Yeah, uh, Sarah. We do need to chat. Oh, Sarah's gone? Wait a minute. Where'd you go, Sarah? I'm meeting Veronica at the harbor. Oh, wait a minute. Meeting Veronica at the harbor. We'll be back at around 9 p.m. Sarah, that's some half an hour from now. I may have just missed her. Doesn't feel good that Sarah is to meet with Veronica when I don't know Veronica's motives. I should try to intercept the meeting. No freaking kidding, Veronica's a murderer. Ord, hi. Whoa. Sarah didn't say you were joining us. I just happened to pop in. Veronica, you murderous. I thought Sarah was going to meet you. We must have missed each other. I had to ask a villager the way here. I guess everyone here knows where the Bergwall shack is. So Sarah should be here any minute then. And we can begin sorting stuff. Thank you. 
I know you were in the boat with Jonathan. What do you mean? Look, I want to discuss this before Sarah arrives. I've seen photos of you in the boat with Jonathan Bergwall. The day What's up, Phil Ninja? Going, what's going on, man? That's, that's impossible. Unlikely, but not impossible. Someone happened to take some photos of you. Unless Sarah set this I've all up. Them myself. Why did you do it? You want to know why? <sighs> One day, Signai, Sarah's mother, had a moment of clarity. Relative clarity, that is. Then she decided to confide in me. Like a bolt out of a blue sky. Or confess, maybe I should call it. All the things Jonathan had done when Sarah was a little girl. Oh, Jonathan was abusive. Oh my god, he's a child abuse. Oh man. Like some kind of divine punishment. I don't know. But Jonathan, nobody punished him. And then Sarah told me about her pregnancy. And I got really afraid for her safety. Sarah's pregnant? Is Sarah pregnant from her father? Uh... Is Sarah pregnant with her father's child? This game took an unexpected turn. <laughs> I think I think we can all agree on that. What do you <laughs> Sorry, Veronica. I should come clean. I'm not Sarah's boyfriend. She hired me. <laughs> this is all so weird. Hired you to sort out the book and all that crap Jonathan pulled? That's it. Yes. To be honest, I don't really know why she thought of me being her boyfriend would be I know, right, Thor? Game of Thrones. Oh, that part doesn't surprise me. She doesn't see the father anymore. It was a short oh. family affair. Okay, so she wasn't pregnant from her father. Okay. Well, that gives her a sense of normalcy, I guess. <sighs> okay, so I, I don't think it was her father's kid. Whew. I'm sorry you were deceived. No <laughs> TV. But back to Jonathan. So Sarah had confided in me. But I knew that her memories of her father had been long suppressed. And I deemed it wise not to stir them up. Not under those circumstances. So I had to do it myself. I knew he would get away with it otherwise. So you took matters into your own hands. He said he had planned to tell Sarah about it. To confess his sins. But Sarah had already forgotten all of that. All that okay, good. So she got pregnant with someone else. Thank God. She started a new life. That's fine. She pregnant, and as long as That's okay. Of her father, she's all right. She just needed him to disappear without a trace. That's a relief. It's still creepy, but it's not as creepy. The last thing she needed was him to bring it all back up. I understand. All his high and mighty preaching. All that holier-than-thou attitude. I swear half of it is just bad conscience. I have no idea how he planned to tell her. But I'd bet my right hand it would have been a fucking disaster. I know how he planned to do it. You do? Yeah. He wrote a book about it. I have it right here. Then you know just as well as I do what a psycho he was. Well, now it's in your hands, Ord. You can hand me into the police. You can tell Sarah the truth. You know where I stand in this. Hmm. I'll take responsibility for what I've done. Exactly, Wyval. I've already turned you in. You're probably wanted by the police now. I see. Well, you did what you had to. I'll be off. I won't be caught that easily. Don't try to stop me. Tell the police I threatened you with a gun and took off. Veronica, I regret turning you in now. Let me know if there's anything. Well, crap. I have the chance now to hide the truth from Sarah. I should take it before I go search for her. Now he's gonna hide the truth. I must hide the truth. I know exactly, right, gentlemen? Okay, so how am I going to hide the truth? Oh, yeah, I managed to edit the ending. So, um, I, uh, don't like... He looked at her and said, I love you, my child as a daughter and you're a wonderful daughter and I'm your father I 
told you I have no idea where he is. Why don't we just hang around until he shows up? Oh, it's Stig. And pick someone smarter next time to run your errands. This guy was dead easy to track down. What do you want from him? He hasn't done... Oh, come on. He's infiltrated Wyvern, stole my passport, then broke into my apartment and stole Father's book. He even snuck into the church and pretended... We don't have to get into that now. Do you think we can let someone like him be on the loose? I know, right? Besides, if you had him steal Father's book for you, I recommend you burn it. Why should I burn it? So only you can access the inheritance? My silly sister. There was never a hidden inheritance. I can tell you what's in the book right now if you want. What? Don't do it, Patrick. That won't be necessary. There he is. Da, da, da. He won't get away this time. Ah, this is cute. Sarah hired him to find Father's book, and now that he's read it, he doesn't want her to know. Hate to break it to you like this, sister, but Father only wrote the book to... Hey! Ord, no! Whoa. Ord! I fucking shot him! It's my nerves, I get all shaky. Ord! Not Ord! Oh, but for fuck. Oh, no wow. trying to get away. Larson, get him. The hell? I've never been shot before. Yes. I guess your last moments last forever, seeing a nothing can follow. Either that, or I'm simply not dying. It's rare getting the opportunity to alter the past. I think Sarah's finding the book now. It's all right, Sarah. You can read it now. Freya left Torgov's cottage, and with Mimir's bands now lifted, she could acquire a boat. She felt at home on the sea, and effortlessly made her way to Abaheim, determined to find the owner of the ring, Ithin, Vithar's lover. A strong sense of familiarity, or as we like to mispronounce it, familiarity, struck her when she disembarked and saw the white stone walls and tall steeples. She was about to ask the way to Ithin's house, but somehow her feet just kept moving and she mechanically let an inner power guide her. Ivan, the seafarer. I found it. Then finally, her memories came back to her. I... I... I am... Ithin! Vithar! I started to think you would never return. <laughs> Me? I <laughs> know, sir. You always make it. And what about you? You escaped the dragon? Piece of cake. I have been to your hometown. I have so much to tell you. About Angsmark and Mimir and Sameta and... And... <laughs> we have plenty of time to talk, my love. We'll buy a new boat and talk while the setting sun set our sails ablaze. And the silver of mackerel shoals crests the waves. Yes, indeed. And the fair wind brings tears to our eyes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> did you write this, Ord? How did you guess? And that Vither, I suppose that's a younger you. Maybe. Oh, we just happen to look alike, perhaps. I guess Jonathan's own ending sucked, right? You wouldn't like it. This is better. Oh, I bet. Keep reading, Sarah. You're ruining the atmosphere. And the full moon's marble face guides <laughs> It's our interesting. Way. Yeah, cool. This is actually pretty cool. I kind of like this, I have to say. It was weird, but... I mean, I don't know about you guys. I did not see the plot going this way. What's up, Adam? I've actually been streaming for a couple hours. Classic Kara Heyman is Sarah. I kind of like this. I don't know what you guys thought. I thought it was kind of funny. So basically what it comes down to, gentlemen, is that um, he was writing this whole book, the father, to basically express his love for his own daughter. This like whole incestuous thing. And once he and Veronica, the, who's the nurse, actually ended up killing Jonathan because of it. So, um, so he ends up rewriting uh, what's his face? Ord ends up rewriting the book, the ending of the book, to do what you basically just saw. Stig shows up and shoots him, but then because he gave the information to Jorgen, Jorgen, like, shows up and basically arrests Stig, and Ord survives, and so he's now having Sarah read this book, and presumably he's gonna end up with Sarah, so. Yeah, that game was kind of crazy. I, I liked it, I have to say. It was kind of weird. And I have to say this also, this lasted longer than Transistor. I'm just saying. Just saying. But you know, for a one-man job, like a complete one-man show, I don't know, I, I actually, like I say, I, I kind of like this. I kind of like this, I like the story. It was kind of neat. Well, and of course, 
Shadowed would think it was neat because Shadowed was responsible for helping with like at least three of the super difficult puzzles. Um, but nothing, you know, I did a lot of, I, I basically was able to do a lot of it, but Shadowed had some really good ideas about stuff like that prism. I was like, what? Uh, this game can be gotten on Steam, actually, Kilobyte. If you do a search for the Samaritan Paradox, you can get it. And again, thanks to Dragon Spare. I don't think he's here right now, but um, again, thanks to... Um... Oh, nice, Adam. Was it good? There was no fortune snip. Maybe I was just slower. Maybe. I reckon them that are good must suffer for those that are bad. Thanks for having played the Samaritan Paradox. Copyright 2014 Faravid Interactive. So there was no fortune snip, dog. There was no, in uh, there was no inheritance. He was just a jerk. Sometime later. Ooh. And the Secretary of Defense is hard pressed to explain how these weapons deals could be sanctioned. The journalist who exposed the covert operation, Jorgen Anderson, has received a lot of attention and is nominated for this year's grand prize of journalism. Viewers may recognize Anderson for earlier this oh, month, that sucks, revealing Adam. that a mission church pastor in Gothenburg accepted large sums in return for letters of indulgence. We have not managed to reach Anderson for an interview. You have to map it out, man. Hello? Hi, Ord. Hey there. How are we feeling today? Better. It's healing nicely. Just wanted to check if you're all set for tomorrow. I sure am. I just made sure someone can look after Herbert. Herbert? Uh, my weeping thing. Oh, I'm sure he'll be alright. Speaking of which, I'll probably need to replace my plants once we get back to Stockholm. So I'll see you at the train station tomorrow morning, then? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Our boy Ord and Sarah, back together again. It's the city. My, the city. I think it might be clearing up. Yay! Sarah and Ord, together. <laughs> no need for rent money. <laughs> this teary eyed at the end like transistor. Yeah. Good stuff. Cool. I really enjoyed that. In fact, I might have enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed transistor. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Good stuff. All right. Well, um, so what that means, first of all, thanks again to Dragon Spear for that. What that means, guys, is that the next game we're playing, and this is going to start either tomorrow evening or Friday, depending on when I next stream, Assassin's Creed 3. That is up next. So I'm going to be playing Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, that's going to be the game I play next. Then we're going to play Caverns of the Snow Witch. And um, then we're going to see. Divinity Original Sin will be matched in there as well, but we'll find out what happens. Yeah, it definitely did. That game really was... It's funny, the game really twisted around. Like, at first it starts, it's like this simple, like, you know, search out this inheritance thing. Then it becomes this, like, fantasy, like, thing with the girl in the book. Then it becomes this, like, political intrigue deal with, like, like weapons being given to some dictatorship or whatever. Then it kind of veers back into the other, and it's like, oh, guess what? Actually, the father's trying to get the girl, the daughter, to find out about him. Like, hello. That's exactly it, gentlemen. That's exactly how that happens. That's exactly right. So anyway, but I had fun. I, I, I think it was really cool. And I think, you know, again, I mean, I know my focus on story and all that stuff. This was just kind of a cool, neat little thing. And I want to see, how long did it take me to play? It took me... Uh, let's see. So Transistor was six hours. And this was... Seven hours. <laughs> Oh, uh, seven hours. No, I've given that away. Sounds like my third relationship. I have given that away. No, I have uh, I have a few games left here, but I that is not one of them. Bad Rats is not one of them. Okay. All right. Well, we are going to do a giveaway, folks, and then I am going to have to call it for tonight because, as I said, this was going to be a short cast, um, and I have uh, I've got to get um, some sleep because tomorrow is the big the big event. So again, for those of you who are in Philadelphia, would love to see any or all of you. Um, for those of you who aren't, I'm going to try to stream the Icarus panel tomorrow starting at 4 p.m. Eastern. Again, I will try, but I can't promise that it's going to work because it, the convention Wi-Fi may not be strong enough, and if it isn't, it isn't. So we'll see. Um, but I'm hoping to 
be able to do that. Here's here's hoping that happens. Um, but uh, that's the deal with that. Starting, however, um, so that's going to be tomorrow. Then Thursday night, if I'm back by then, I will tell you guys all about it. Uh, and on either Thursday night or Friday, um, either Thursday night or Friday uh, when my next stream is, I will be streaming Assassin's Creed 3. And we'll be playing Assassin's Creed 3 until... Um, excuse me. We'll be playing Assassin's Creed 3 until Divinity Original Sin is released in a couple of weeks. Um, remember, I'll be doing an interview of Sarah Bayless, who's one of the writers from Divinity Original Sin. We're going to be doing that now on Thursday, July 3rd. So again, Thursday, July 3rd will be the uh, interview with Sarah Bayless. Then I'll be doing Divinity Original Sin, probably going to be co-op running that with Series Runner, I believe. We've basically talked about that tentatively. So I'll be doing that with him. I'll be doing Assassin's Creed 3 when I do the solo streams, and then the occasional Dungeons & Dragons casts, either Icewind Dale or the continuing adventures of Infinity and Beyond in the pen and paper crew. Um, so that's the, what's going on with that. When Assassin's Creed 3 is finished, we'll go to Caverns of the Snow Witch, the next Fighting Fantasy game book, and then... Who knows after that? So that is the deal with that. And yes, I will try really hard. <laughs> I will definitely try a snip, but I can't promise, but I'll, I'll do the best I can. Okay, so now tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a giveaway I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have for you folks. Um, for all of you intrepid adventurers who came with me on the last bit of the Samaritan Paradox. I really enjoyed that. I had a good time with that game. It was cool. Okay, um, and the games are as follows. If you guys win today, you're going to have a choice of one of three possible games. Three games. The first is The Journey Down Chapter 1, which I believe is the first part of an adventure game, or it's the first chapter of an adventure game. So the first game you'll have a choice of is The Journey Down Chapter 1. The second choice will be One Way Heroics. One Way Heroics, which is a game I think the gentleman has played. And then the third and final game will be Orion Dino Horde. That's Orion Dino Horde, um, which was, and I had two of those that were actually given to me, I believe, by Shadowed Mage. Right, Shadowed Mage? I think Shadowed was the one who gave me these two. So again, uh, The Journey Down, Chapter 1, One Way Heroics, or Orion Dino Horde, which I believe, again, was given to me by Shadowed Mage, if I'm not mistaken. Those are the three choices that I've got um for you if you win tonight and let's see portal 2 yeah I've, I've heard lots of good things i've watched a lot of portal 2 as well so yeah cool thank you shadow so here we go and appropriately we're gonna make this uh, let's see um i guess we'll do this all right the keyword is as follows All right, here we go. If you guys want one of those three games, please type in Dat Plot Twist. <laughs> oh, man, alive. That's if you want one of those three. Journey Down, Chapter 1, One Way Heroics, or Orion Dino Horde. Thank you, gentlemen. So, gentlemen, it looks like uh, the next D&D session is probably going to be next week. I still have to get through those names, though. Um, and I wish I could remember all of them. And I don't off the top of my head. But I'll have to see what I can do. And I don't know what Series Runner's name is because I guess he's going to create a new character. So, I don't honestly know. Uh, so, we'll see. That's the deal with that. And while you guys are looking, let's see who we've got. If anyone to raid... Oh, we do have a few people. Hmm. <laughs> and da, 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 da. let's go. Yeah. I rated these people recently. Cool. All right. Good. I know exactly what we're going to rate. Okay. Yeah, um, I do like the Steelers. This is because, uh, so the Seahawks is because my father-in-law is a um, Seahawks uh, season ticket holder, and uh, my wife is from Seattle originally, so I've actually gone to see the Seahawks a couple times. So when they um, went to the Super Bowl, he actually flew out here, and because uh, it was obviously being held in New York, and he got to see the entire game. And then afterwards, he sent us a bunch of these Seahawks shirts and stuff and so um yeah i decided to wear this one i don't mind the seahawks because they never the thing is the steelers have beaten them in the games that matter <laughs> like the super bowl and um the seahawks uh other than that you know the seahawks are in another division they're not in the same conference you know so 
It's not like I really ever have to worry about them on a daily basis, but that's the idea. Yeah, One Way Heroics is a roguelike fantasy game. I have seen that being played. It looks kind of cool if you like roguelikes. I'm not crazy about roguelikes myself, but One Way Heroics looks kind of like a neat deal. And I don't know a lot about the journey down, except that I think it's supposed to be a fairly solid adventure game, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, Also, if you guys liked what you saw and heard and you're new to the stream, please make sure to follow. I would appreciate that very much. So, all right, I'm going to be closing this down in a minute. Again, if you guys are interested, make sure to use that one down. Make sure to use that, uh, that Sheffy twist. Again, that's that plot twist. That plot twist. If you guys are interested, that plot twist is the key word to win one of those three games that have previously been mentioned. So, last call, last call. That really... I really, I, I was reading and then I'm like, what? Because when I, when they, she first walked into the hut, I was like, okay, he's older, whatever. So it's like a father figure thing. I'm like, that's fine. And she comes back and does this thing. He's like, everything's wonderful. And then like a warm embrace. I'm like, wait, what? Oh God. What? What? So anyway, yeah, we are going to do a raid, but we're going to do this after uh, this is going to go. Nice. Like, that's awesome, dude. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're going actually down to Washington, D.C. Um, I think it's in a month for a conference that my wife is attending. Um, and so we're going to go down there so that Senevine can see Washington, D.C. because she's never been there. So we'll show her our nation's capital. All right, here we go. The winner is... He's never won. He's never actually won this before. <laughs> Rigged. He's never won before. Lawkeeper's never won before. He deserves one of these, you guys. Bot designer created loophole redo. <laughs> no, no, no. Lawkeeper deserves this. Lawkeeper deserves this. It's totally cool. Lawkeeper has never won one of my giveaways ever, random or otherwise. In before he's passed out. I know. No, that's not possible because he entered. He must have entered. There he is. I see him. He entered. The giveaways are done through my bot, Snipdog, which is the law bot, the lawkeeper bot. Um, although we're making one called Arvbot. Um, but uh, so it was made by my wonderful mod and regular lawkeeper. Certifi? Certifi's won like three times. That's a good point, Law. Burn. Law totally deserves it. What do you, it's, what's, so what's up, man? I'm actually really psyched that you won. So what's up? What do you want to win? Lawkeeper is totally, uh, totally on board with it. So what do you want, Law? What would you like? <laughs> now I chill participate. Yep, good stuff, Law. What's it going to be, man? That's it, gentlemen. Yeah, you got to enter to win. Can't win if you don't play, as the lottery says. So which one do you want, Law? What's it going to be? Do you want one-way heroics? Do you want the journey? Yes. And gentlemen's played it. Okay, cool, cool. One way heroics is on the way. There we go. He's even streamed it. Have you streamed it? Take a Ryan Dino crap, it's horrible. All right, let's see. And we're going to put that on enjoy. And we're going to do that. And send. All right, it is on its way to you, Lawkeeper. That's awesome. I actually would, that would be pretty cool. If I'm uh, around at that time, I'll stream, I'll uh, check you out streaming it. That would be awesome. All right, folks. Um, so we are going to go raid. Um, and when we raid, we are going to raid doing this. 
when we raid, we're going to do this, which is you just type in the Arvanauts have landed, uh, and then you do Volcania, which is that um, little shark thing, and that's just Volcani.a, except you do without the period, so it's Volcania. Um, and we are going to go raid there, and then again, you're going to see me tomorrow night uh, or on Friday, um, depending on when I get back from uh, the con from the convention, um, you'll see me streaming, and I'm going to be starting with Assassin's Creed 3, and Assassin's Creed 3 is going to be the focus of my solo streams um, for a couple of weeks, uh, again, then alternating with um, uh, Divinity Original Sin when that comes out in a couple of weeks. So that is what's looking at. You're, uh, you're welcome, Law. Absolutely, man. Congratulations. Um, so that's what's going on with that. But remember, again, to tune in tomorrow around 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, I hope, I can't promise, but I hope I'll be able to live stream it but again it depends on convention wi-fi so if the center wi-fi is good then great otherwise you know you might be out of luck but hopefully we'll be able to stream that panel and thank you adam i appreciate that very much let me just say goodbye to everyone before i send you off on your raid thank you very much to lawkeeper for creating arvbot and lawbot and i really appreciate um everything um with uh, that you've done for the stream so thanks a lot man i appreciate it congratulations also uh th many thanks to backburner it's good to have you on the stream man good to see you a lot of people back today that burner and i both like uh inam of course was streaming but also Optic started streaming again last night. And, of course, uh, Series Runner is back streaming now, which was cool, too. Lego, congratulations again on all the stuff going on with school. Don't worry about the stuff with the, you know, the housing and all that stuff. It'll work itself out. But um, good to see Lego again. Good moderating tonight. Gentlemen, as always, a pleasure. Good moderating tonight, sir. And uh, looking forward to seeing the next time that you stream as well. Uh, Xanos, always a pleasure to have you on stream, sir. And uh, I hope you found this game appropriately creepy for uh, for what you were looking for. Uh, Adam, always a pleasure to have Adam Maniac on here. I'm glad you were able to catch a little of my stream, dude. Sorry that it was a little, um, you know, I wasn't going to be on much.